This video is brought to you by CuriosityStream and Nebula. Imagine you're building a stream layout for someone else to use, either in like a sports broadcasting scenario where you have interns coming in, an education scenario where you have someone helping out, or you're trying out a stream producer for the first time. Or perhaps you're a game streamer and you want to take notes of your cool clip time codes or moments that happen during your stream you want to remember after your stream. Or perhaps you have planned this elaborate stream layout based on people like me's suggestions and you want to know kind of your general plan for the stream or you just like keeping everything in OBS. There's a new plugin to help you with all of this. I'm Ebos Vox, the stream professor, and today we're talking about the Scene Notes plugin for OBS Studio created by the one, the only, Exceldro. Who else was it going to be, really? This plugin is about as simple as as it gets, so I'm not going to waste too much time with it. You go to the link in the description below, you click download, you download the installer, or if you use Portable OBS, you download the zip, copy it to where you go, and relaunch OBS. Now you're probably not going to see anything, but you go to View, Docs, and Scene Notes. And this just gives you a little dockable window here that you can put wherever you want. And if you're confused by anything you see on screen with regards to the theme, the, the color scheme, the on-screen elements, Check the links in the description below. I probably have videos, you know, telling you everything you need to know. Don't get too freaked out. Or ask, I will link you. Join us on Discord, I will link you. Anyway, you get this nice little window here, and it's just a text field. It's about as simple as it gets, but you can do a lot with it. So it is notes for your specific scene. So for example, if I say, this is video scene, we're just not gonna use proper English now. If we switch scenes, you get a, you get a different scene. Image scene. Switch scenes, different. So now you can go in and take proper notes based on what you're doing, which means you can say, for example, you on your starting soon screen, you can give yourself reminders to be like, hey, call out Discord, Twitch subs, and Patreon. So that you see this, a lot of people like keeping, you know, their chat, their stats, all everything within their OBS window. So whenever you're streaming and you're looking at your OBS window to see your chat and everything, you have this right here as a reminder that when you start your stream and you're at your starting soon or like just chatting scene, you're gonna, you know, do these things. Or you can get kind of more detailed and be like, on this scene over here, this is, let's say, detailed chatting screen. And then you can come down here and be like, item number one is gonna be, I don't know, uh, talk about holiday stories. Number two, feedback from chat on time of day to stream. Number three is unbox new toys. Number four is game time. Now, the core concept here is fairly basic. I probably don't need to explain it anymore. It's text. I, I, I would like to think, despite the modern education systems failing with tech ed, that y you understand how text works. But we do have some formatting options. So if we come in here and highlight this, we can right click and you've got font, text color, and background color. Now I hope and believe he's adding more formatting options, so I'd love to get stuff like bulleted lists, things like that, but for now, you can customize this a little bit. So I can come over here for detailed just chatting screen, which is the title kind of of the scene for the text and things like that. I can come over here to font, and now I can choose all of the usual kind of OBS font options, which means uh, I can come in here and I can change the font to something big, so I can say, I can choose my usual kind of beefy boy font here. I can make it bold. I can make it pretty big. Click OK. That's a little too big, but you get the idea. Then I can come over here and let's say I want to really make sure I remember to unbox my new toys. I can come over here to text color, make it bright pink or something. And then if I really want to make sure this stands out and I can, you know, pay attention to it, I can right click background color and give it like a light blue or something. Oh, I didn't actually highlight my text for that. There we go. If you're really wanting to master OBS and learn about all the plugins that you can, I actually, in an extended cut of this video, talk about an upcoming exciting plugin from Exceldo for OBS Studio that I think is gonna be super useful for pretty much anyone using OBS Studio. But that cut of the video is available exclusively on my streaming site I built with my creator friends. The site is called Nebula, and we've partnered with CuriosityStream. Nebula features YouTube's top education creators such as Low Spec Gamer, Thomas Frank, and MKBHD. My videos are higher quality there, ad-free, and often extended from the YouTube versions, like this one. 
Curiosity Stream saw what we were doing for educational content and wanted to form an alliance. If you click the link below, you not only get access to Curiosity Stream, and I've talked about it a ton, they have a massive library of thousands of educational and documentary content, but you also get access to Nebula and all of our edutainment awesomeness over there as well. Two sites for the price of one. Better yet, Curiosity Stream is currently offering a special where you get 26% off their annual subscription, making it under $15 per year for both sites. That's cheaper than just about any other subscription on the internet. Absolutely wild. While you're there, check out Top Science Stories from 2021 to learn about all the news-breaking scientific advances and discoveries from this past year. There's a lot to catch up on. Head on over to curiositystream.com slash epos for the best deal in streaming and get access to both sites for just under $15 per year. It's bonkers. Just do it. So you, you don't have a ton. Like I said, I hope he expands this a little bit, but you do get formatting controls here and you can take some pretty detailed notes while doing this. Now, obviously, you don't want to do all of this while you're live streaming. That would be pretty distracting to just be typing away instead of focusing on your stream. But, you know, when you're at your be right back screen or... You're, you know, you have a quick thing, you can, uh, it would be really useful for me, like, I'm going to be using this just a real quick, like, when something cool happens, write down a general notion of time, like, one hour, and jump in and be like, okay, collateral, double kill, and I'll know to go back and look for it, whereas if I just have it in my head, like, oh, hey, I need to go look for that cool clip, my brain doesn't work that way. I'm not going to remember this stuff. This is going to be super helpful for the ADHD people like myself to really keep track of things. Plus, again, as I alluded to at the start, you can really use this to prepare your stream to kind of get things really, you know, organized ahead of time. Give yourself notes, prep your stream in advance. Something I recommend as the most like underutilized tip for streaming is to just prepare and do as much detailed preparing ahead of time as possible. and You'll have a much better show. And especially those of you in the education fields, in the sports broadcasting fields, or any kind of multi-user scenario, if someone else, if you're making, if, if a different person is making the stream than the person using it, you kind of want to leave some notes as to how the scenes are supposed to work and the things like that. And this is huge for it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're interested in other videos, I have some compilation videos of OBS plugins so you can travel back in time and learn more about what else I have going on here in OBS and how to truly enhance your stream. And otherwise, remember, be kind, rewind.